okay so the first question is uh, one kilometer is equal to okay they have given other uh, units ka uh, conversion okay so they have given yards nautical miles all of the above none of the above okay so uh, one kilometer is equal to 0.539957 nautical miles okay that is correct so b is correct now we have to see whether a is correct but one kilometer is equal to 1093.61 yards so only b is correct okay whenever you see the question and you you know you check the answer uh, there are obviously the wrong options okay what you have to do is check also what is the correct option okay now we know 1001 uh, 1013.61 yards is not correct the correct answer would be 1093.61 yards okay okay see uh, the horizontal or vertical members separating the glass surfaces when joining adjacent windows is called okay i'll just see okay i can get a get an image answer is a okay a mullion is a horizontal or vertical member which separates it may be in plural also separates the glass surfaces when joining adjacent windows okay now see the definitions of the other uh, the options jam a side post or surface of a doorway window or fireplace i think you guys might know jam when you close the door it uh, strikes against a uh, surface Okay, near the door, uh, on the doorway, that is called a jam. Okay, flashing a strip of metal used to stop water penetrating the junction of a roof with another surface. Okay, next is. next is mountain 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 whatever it is a bar or rigid supporting strip between adjacent pa panes of glass a glazing bar okay it's called a mountain next a period of european history that lasted from the 14th to the 17th century is known as okay this is an uh, this is an obvious answer okay see the options renaissance industrial revolution dadaism and none of these you know for fact ki renesa renesa you must have learned it in school uh, textbook me have it i don't know for sure so renaissance was an old uh, revolutionary period okay so it may be the answer industrial revolution i think is more recent we see so renaissance is correct answer it lasted from the 14th century to the 17th century okay industrial revolution was a more recent one compared to renaissance at least started in 1760 and ended in 1840 okay dadaism is early 19th century what is dadaism is it's an art movement okay okay it's an art movement uh, started by two three individuals i can't recall the name but it started in the early 19th century okay 1905 no sorry so where on that yeah now in uid paper i have seen the mo most questions asked is uh, logos and many times they have asked chairs also okay so you have to learn the history of chairs it's not very difficult meaning it's not too many i'm saying there are particular kinds of chairs which are very famous okay so also most of the chairs are uh, designed i'm not saying all of them most of the chairs are designed by architects because they have the special knowledge okay that's why now what of this frank lloyd other options frank lloyd right garrett ridwell charles and ray ames lake corbusier okay answer is frank lloyd right do you guys know who frank lloyd right is other than chair designer
You guys know? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. He's a very famous architect. Okay, one of the most famous works of his is called the Falling Water. It's a, uh, I think it was built as a private use, but it is it houses a National Science Center or something. Like okay, Frank Lloyd is very famous actually. Also, this chair design. Okay, it's called a Alice in One Armchair. Okay, its name is Talisa. Okay. Also, Charles and Rames are also one of the famous chair designers. Lake Corbusier also. Okay. This is a question. Which company or organization organization logo is this? Okay. NCRT. 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 Okay. Others. I think it came in an idea as well. Oh, is it? Okay, very good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, NCRT. Yes, correct. That this is the logo of NCRT. I think this is one of the questions which you know mostly all of them can answer. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this is NCRT over IGCSC. Okay, the logo has the name on it. Okay. Logo's main feature is its name itself. Okay. UGC is this Gyan Vigyan Vimukta. What is UGC full form? University Grants Commission. Okay. Now, what about Department of Education? What is the logo for uh, Department of Education? So, uh, for India, meaning meaning in the central uh, central India, in the central gov central government, it doesn't have a specific logo. Okay. State wise, I think many of the states have. Yes, many of the states have uh, Department of Education for different logos. Okay. So since they've not specified which one, this is null and void anyway. Which one of the following is the car model of Bentley? Any idea? B. B. Nusen. Yes. Nusen is correct. Now, uh, Panamera and Cayenne are uh, Porsche brand uh, models. Okay. So, uh, Bentley Motors have four. Uh, this one, Continent, the Continental, the Flying Spur, Bentayga. And the Mulsey. Okay, these are the four car models of Bentley. These two are Porsche. Again, a chair question. Hmm? Any idea? Oh, sorry, I'll show that. These are the options. D. Sorry? D. Jens Risso. Jens Risso. Okay. Anybody else? Meaning any other answers? Okay. Okay, uh, the answer is, sorry, it's not C. Marcel Brewer is the answer, okay? Marcel Brewer is the uh, designer of this chair and it is called, uh, 
और वैसेली इस नेम रखते हैं other all uh, all of the other options are also chair designers but this one is designed by marcel okay uh, what is an arcade it is a series of arches with a shopping complex sorry oh, sorry you were saying I thought it was option C. Option C. Okay. Okay. Uh, shopping complexes don't have exactly a name, but arcade is a series of arches. Architecturally, when you see, okay, it means series of arches with supporting columns or pairs. Ma'am, is an arcade that gaming area? Yes, arcade is also a gaming area, but uh, among the options, it is this one. Okay, okay. I I'll show you a picture. Introduce you to recognize an exam. Okay. This this is called an arcade. Series of arches supported by or vertical sir vertical columns. Okay. Okay. This one we'll go come for this later. First we'll all do all the GK. What is a colonnade? Any idea? A range of columns connected by horizontal entablature or cornice. A range of columns connected by horizontal entablature. Okay. Yes, that is correct. I'll show you guys what a colonnade actually means. It'll be easier to you know. Okay. This is a colonnade. If you compare it with the uh, first uh, option. A range of columns connected by a horizontal entablature or cornice at the top. See, it is connected by horizontal entablature, okay, on the top. It's a series of columns, so it's a colonnade. Okay, ma'am, why are architecture-related questions more? In this paper, they have included it. Okay, that does not mean they will always include it. That does not mean they will never include. But they see uh, it, it concerns design, right? So yeah. for your interaction design, visual communication design, all these are important. It's a mixture of all of them, but they have in this paper, yeah, they have asked more of architecture. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Red dot award is given for. They have asked industrial design or interaction design, visual communication, fashion design. What do you guys think? Any idea? I mean, you can also guess if you don't know. Interaction design. Interaction design. Okay. Fashion design. Fashion design. Okay. So, uh, red dot award is mainly given for design, okay. But there are categories. There are actually many categories, about fifteen, as they say, okay. But it is mainly given for design concept, product design, okay, 
and also there is fashion design there is a category of fashion design okay visual communication no definitely not interaction no neither is industrial design included in that okay fashion design is the it's very it's a very prestigious award next Tesla cyber trucks body is majorly made of What is Tesla cyber truck You guys don't know it's a very recent one and revolutionary this one also obviously it's from tesla company okay it's a truck which is it is run by electric battery powered okay and light duty meaning it can be used for not necessary use for heavy purpose okay is it stainless steel alloy stainless steel alloy yes stainless steel alloy it is uh, made of So actually, eight hundred times more or okay, right, right. Yeah, it's a stain. It's made of stainless steel and uh, armored glass. Both of them. It's ultra hard, cold rolled uh, stainless steel. Uh, Which of these are uh, non biodegradable materials? Following is non biodegradable. Ceramic. Ceramic. What about others? What is asbestos? Asbestos is a heat-resistant material. Whenever the people who are working with the heat, uh, do you know they use asbestos? Heat-resistant, high heat-resistant. Okay. Next. So, so is it like natural or uh, made up? I have to see. I have no idea. I think it is. Man made, I uh, must be a mixture at least. Ma'am, because ceramic is pottery, no, ma'am. So yes. it can be degradable. It's clean. Yes. Wood, I mean, glass yes. is also made from sand and. Hmm. So yes. I thought asbestos because I don't know what it means. What it meant? Sorry. Hmm. Just see what asbestos is. I don't know exactly what it is. But ceramic, I know that uh, one of the UID classes they had the ceramic design, and they, he said that only one kind of mud is degradable; else is bio, uh, like non-degradable. Non-biodegradable. Okay. Why don't you guys do one thing? No, search. No. What do you think? Just search. If you think glass is biodegradable, non-biodegradable, just search. All right.
all right uh, as far as i saw okay in general glass is an inorganic compound so it doesn't biodegrade it takes a long time as was the same thing wood is biodegradable ceramic it takes a long time to biodegrade certain types uh, as someone mentioned no certain types of uh, mud clay is biodegradable most of them are not so it's a b and d okay this one hmm what about this which is this is a logo of which famous design award of the world do you guys know any famous uh, design awards before this no ma singapore good design singapore good design okay red dot award yes red dot award okay uh, the answer is red dot award we'll see, let's see the other this one okay so this is singapore design awards logo this is singapore good design 2020 okay they may change the logo also this is spade special design awards okay they give you only this much you'll have to you have to guess spade okay others all you can see it is written in the logo itself but if they ask you just cut this much out and ask which logo this is yeah okay so this is singapore design awards this is singapore good design 2020 ka logo this is spade award special design yeah which animal footprint is shown below have you guys uh, seen for like footprints any notes you have seen or search yes for like that there was this one question mom is gluten an animal yes it is even i was surprised but yes it is it looks like a small fox or something like this okay is it hippopotamus is hippo yes hippopotamus yeah This is I think it's dinosaur. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Hmm. But it's a dinosaur. So what? What? Dinosaur. 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 So, oh my God! I cannot imagine now. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. So what is that? Acha ha. The one with the okay. <laughs> yes. With the thing. Mm. So, um, what one of them? Either rhinoceros or hippopotamus. Not any other. Okay, so I'll just put it here. This is a gluten, gluten, gluten something. Okay. Looks like a small bear or something. Is it like Nevla? But Nevla is smaller than this, no? This one is big. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a Wolverine animal. Wolverine. Oh yeah, it's it's the Wolverine, also named as referred to as gluten, skunk bear, quick hatch, weird names. Okay. Okay, it's rhinoceros. The answer for the footprint. Okay, this one is a rhinoceros' ka footprint. We'll see the other ones. Hippopotamus has divisions on its finger digits. Elk is very distinct, I think. Only two prints, and this is the gluten. It's a typical wolf ka this one, usually. Okay. Please match the following. Can you guys get some of them at least, if not all? Prastam is the last one. 
Yes, rostrum is the last one. Uh, first one is the transversal line. First one is the transversal line. Correct. Mobius strip is the same one. Mobius strip line. Is... Yeah, everything is matched only. <laughs> Yes, Everything is. is in the same line, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Because like borrow me, like borrow mean rings. So like mm -hmm. rings are in a uh, second position only. If we have, if we were to guess. So, yes. Okay. Correct. All of them are already matched. Okay. Now, how many of you knew about borrow mean rings being this answer? Okay, they are three closed curves in three dimensional space. Okay, and they're linked, cannot be separated from each other. Okay. Boromian rings are three simple closed curves in three dimensional space, which are linked and cannot be separated. Okay. Transverse line, what is what is the meaning of transverse line? When another line cuts through those two parallel lines, it's called transverse, and so many angles allied or like opposite angles will be equal, or some properties are like that. Yeah, so when it cuts two parallel lines, then that uh, angles will come correct. Transversal line simply means that it is cutting a straight line. Okay, here the dashed line is the transversal line. Okay, cutting the straight line. What about the Mobius strip? Well, uh, actually, I heard this Mobius strip through this movie called mm. Avengers. Um, okay. They use mm. the same set of technology to time travel. Okay, I okay. The last I, one, Endgame. Prastra mm, reserves three. So it's been long. Sorry. Anyway. Mobius strip means it's a strip which does not have any end. Okay. Simply put. This is like that strip, right? If we cut through the middle, we'll get two chain kind of structure. Yeah. Mm. Like the question which came in UC last year. Not this year. UC last year. I don't. Yeah. Anyway, I don't remember. It's called a twisted cylinder. Yeah. Mm. Mobius strip is this, okay? Cycloid. What does cycloid mean? Okay, its definition is a curve uh, res which resembles a series of arches, like this one, pink line, traced by a point on a circle point on a circle, all these points which are in, being rolled along a straight line. Okay, it just means curves, arches of line, okay, traced by a point on a circle being rolled along a straight line. This circle is being rolled along a straight line and the path which it forms traced by a point is called a cycloid. Okay, what is the meaning of frustum? This one. A cone which is cut from the top. Yes, a cone is cut into. Yes, like a pot cut along the uh, horizontal. Hmm. So they have asked, this is a very deep question though. Please mention the year in which following revised logos were published. Anybody know anyone? If not all. Uh, is it mixed or is it mixed? Not your chronological. It's not. They have not mentioned it. Maybe, okay. But we they have not mentioned. It. Maybe may not. So, like the last Coca Cola one is the most recent. Recent one. Correct. Yeah, like it was done in, I think, 2020 itself. 2020. Okay. okay. I actually have it here. Okay. I got this all the years from this. 
the it was in a website they have given the chronological order order okay so this simplest one is 1886 i think it was near the this one and the decorative design of this with with this was for a very brief period okay then this i i sent i think i'll send this to gorav sir so you guys can check it later ma'am but how can anybody get this correct it's a very famous coca cola ka logo ka changes no it's very famous and i think it's the only one in the world apart from apple which is this famous any exam you see most of the exam they ask coca cola ka at least once at least they ask so it's something which you know i'm yeah. even target has changed no ma'am target logo burger king so many has changed yes they have changed but i don't think anything any company is as famous as coca cola for changing the logo especially okay they have changed but it is very less you can yourself see how many times they have changed anyway you have it this one okay so search for apple that is also some they have few quite few logos they have changed okay do you guys know the first logo of uh, apple what it look like yes Can you tell me? It was like uh, Einstein was sitting under the tree, and the apple Newton, was glowing. Newton, Newton, sorry, Newton, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Newton because of the gravitational theory. That was one first. The first logo was Newton sitting under a tree. I think he was looking at the apple. No, no, he was not. He was reading no. a book, and it was like in embellished form. Yes, it was a lithography. Yeah, he was reading a book with an apple, which was very evident in the. Yeah, okay. The first commercially available handheld mobile phone model was. Any idea? C. C. Hmm. Okay, so it the answer is A, Dynatac eight thousand X. Okay, it was. Do you guys know which company? It was not Dynatac. Nokia. <laughs> no, Motorola. Oh yeah. Okay. Motorola was the first. This one. It was very famous, quite famous at that time. Mm-hmm. Till early two thousand, it was famous. Then gone. Okay. Uh, have you? Do you guys know this one? I will give you the answer. Yeah, first one, right? John is famous. What is the? Uh, do you guys know the name of the painting? Girl with the pearl earrings. Girl with the pearl earrings. Okay. Girl with the pearl earrings. It's John Vermeer, which is A option A. Okay. What about the other three? Claude Monet is another guy. Hmm. Claude Monet is another painter. Hmm. Then she. Uh, I think he draws he... realistic paintings like the one with the umbrella in the sunny Claude morning. Or, uh, John Vermeer. Claude Monet. Claude Monet. Okay. Very realistic, yes, and uh, landscape. He is very famous for his landscapes. Okay, after this paper, no, if uh, time is there, we'll go through some of the painting er- eras. I have had some notes there. I have uh, notes on this Claude Monet. Okay, Renoir. What about him? Any idea? Uh. If you just Ma'am, can, huh? probably, even even Renoir is like another painter, but I don't remember yeah. his artwork like particularly. Yes, the thing, but the thing is, his name is Pierre Augustus August Renoir, not the other thing. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. He is a very famous painter. Okay. French painter. More famous for uh, you know 
people with them will do that okay any somebody is saying something okay see this one out of the given options which is an accessory c c c c C is uh, quite obvious. Okay, the definition itself means it can be added to make it more useful. It can be added to something or someone to make it more attractive, useful. So it's not a necessity exactly. So this one is the obvious option. C, third one. so this each question comprises of four sentences a to d put the sentences in the correct order order or original order can you tell me C D B A. Correct. I think I you know I think it's correct. So whenever the something is being explained in a paragraph or something, okay, the first thing you see is the definition of the object. If you are explaining about a bottle, first you first they tell you what is a bottle, okay, then maybe origin of it, uses, whatever it is. how it came to be first always will be the definition so see the color wheel is a basic visual device where color is organized in circular manner for understanding fundamental principles of color classification arrangement and color relationships okay so see is the first one next the first such color wheel was designed by sir isaac newton in 1666 to explain that white light is a combination of seven colors okay, and then see after that d after that which one b goes several many other and many others have developed the system to explain the behavior of colors later on it also helps in understanding color schemes and their color interactions okay this is a similar question to the last one try this one D C A B D C A B Hmm Hmm Anybody has any other answer Okay so do you guys know what is batik other than what you have told you it's a print embroidery for clothes yes it's a print uh, design it's it's tiny and okay. made out of candle wax wax sorry it's art made out of wax on cloth like melting hot wax on cloth no no it's for cloth okay so what they do is uh, to get a certain design so if they would don't want to dye that part okay what they do is they apply wax to that part so when you put it in the dye color that part is not waxed because uh, wax act, acts as a as an insulator for the cloth so the part which is not covered with wax is colored see the far forth when the wax is removed only the areas that were not waxed are colored it's a japanese style okay it's usually in um, cotton silk 
okay it's used in that see this one select the ones which are motifs developed out of capital alphabets partial or full mirrored vertically or horizontally the first three the first three hmm. all of the above all of the above anybody else um uh someone said the first three why not the fourth one uh i think like it won't be like that or it can be i don't know <laughs> okay so see when you take uh the mirror image of it vertically okay, if if you place the mirror vertically then you get that c ulta c you know this part so all of the above, all the all four of them if you see these v and this v ulta this v and this v are straight v's and this is mirrored horizontally same with these are mirrored uh, vertically these are horizontal again okay so all of the above pay special attention to the question asked okay if they had said just mirrored vertically then some of the options wouldn't be there like this one or this one okay which company's logo is this star company i think i'm guessing b is it or oh, sorry no i'm just guessing i'm not sure i couldn't hear you which option did you say b b acura b okay okay others others even if you have to guess b, hmm? b? okay it is d buick okay that is a car company i think it's uh... Hmm. It's a luxury brand. This logo was introduced in two thousand two. The new one, okay. The old one had a red, blue, and white. Uh, sorry, not white. Silver. This one. Let's show it. this one is the first one which is what what names okay next is which one good it's also all silver
ए ओके आई एम शोइंग यू यू ऑल द लोगोस दैट विल बी इफ दे आस्क This is Gura. You can see the A in it. This one is Lincoln. Uh, keep uh, track of Lincoln logo also, car logo also. It has also changed a little. Hmm. This is the old Buick logo up until two thousand two. Uh, in 2002 they adopted the all silver design okay hmm. siam stands for which of these Standard Indian Automobile Measures. Measures. Okay. A answer. Any others? B. B. Hmm. Okay. B is correct. Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers. It's in New Delhi. The office is in New Delhi. Because like B sounds better. <laughs> yes, correct. Measures, uh, in India, standard measures, not so much. Manufacturers would be would make a more logical answer, even if you don't know. It. Okay, Society of Indian Auto Measures. Auto makers. I don't think auto makers have any. On a national level, that is. Okay. Also, uh, which is the largest automobile industry in India? Largest automobile industry. Phoenix. No. Come on. Which is the most common name you hear in motors? I mean, cars. Hyundai, Honda, Maruti. <laughs> as a tata yeah generalized more generalized not just cars automobiles okay so tata motors is the biggest automobile industry in india now here see they have said types and numbers meaning you have to see how many types are there and how many number of types are there. meaning if this one okay four in case benz no no first one is audi oh, sorry aha uh -huh, audi Audi, how many logos are there in this diagram? Okay. Tesla is there. How many this one are this one are there? Do you guys understand? Yes. Okay. Try it. I want to see how much how many we get. Should I zoom it first? Yeah, sure. So first we have to look for uh, types. Mm -hmm. And how many are there in each type? Okay.
How many types are there? Okay, first tell me how many types are there? Total. Seven? Seven? Oh, sorry, eight, eight. No, no. How about that? Okay, the best way to get this is either to go horizontally or vertically, okay, row wise or column wise. So when I go row wise, there's already this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, correct. One, two, three, four, five. If you, when there's a big, this is a big image, you get confused, okay. So always draw a symbol of it on your book, however you want. It doesn't have to be correct, okay? But you should be able to recognize it, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, then Seven. Eight. Let's see. Eight and one. Let's see. Hmm. Nine. Okay. I got nine types. Others? Any other answer if you got less or more? No, I'm so sorry, MG. <coughs> okay. Do you guys get nine? Now, each of them you have to find out. Can you guys tell me the least one is this one? 
Akura, which has just one, I think. I didn't see it anywhere else. Right? Always well, start from the least. Number will reduce. Now, see the Tesla company ka logo. Okay, it's a dark pattern behind the white, so it is very easy to locate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next, which is the least number which you can see? MG? Okay. This is one. MG here. has two. Two. So one here, one here. Two. What others can you see? The highest is, I think, Toyota, right? Pura we got. Okay. Now start counting the Audi. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 15. 13, 14, 15. Yes, 15. No? Right. Ma'am, isn't Okra the least? Yeah, Akura, no? Akura. Yeah, Akura. Huh. Yeah, one. I've written it. Okay. Yeah. What is 15? What else? Men's next. Hyundai, you can see. Or whichever order you want. Okay, Mahindra. Okay. I think this is Mahindra. Don't you? One. Two. It's three, Mahindra. Three, four. Four. Yeah, four. One, two, three, and four. Nowhere else I see any Mahindra. Mm -hmm. Correct? Do you guys see anything if more or less? I think four is confirmed. There's one here, one here, one here, one here. Okay, next Mazda, you see this one. One, two, fourteen, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen, let's count again. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes, that's fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Next Hyundai will see. Hyundai, where is it? There in the first row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Am I right? Yes, 13. Okay. 
next to it. Would. Third, I think we are a mini. One. Twenty-six. Sorry. The first row there are six. Second row one. Third row one again. Eight and nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, yes, 26, 26, and last one is what, uh, this one, no? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Minus last one is eight. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, no, sorry, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Is it fair? Vivek is uh, three one. Yes. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Did everybody get at least close to it? Or if you got them correct, very good. Nice, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you, uh, if you still not got it, you can do it later. Okay, you have done, no worry. Let's see. So, station, okay, certain bus starting at 9, one bus is starting at 9.40, one bus is starting at 10.20, okay? Okay, so there are three buses, three uh, timings for the same route. So how long does the 9 o'clock bus M bus take from the bus station to the terminus? Bus station to the terminus. How long will it take? Um, 59 minutes. 59 minutes. Okay. One hour, 59 minutes. It's nine. Nine to 10 is one hour. Nine, nine to, to 10, 10, 15. 
ten fifteen where is ten ten fifty nine no last one nine bus station to the terminus last one so nine to ten is one hour ten to ten fifty nine is fifty nine minutes so it will be one fifty nine correct you guys have doubt in this guys do you have a doubt uh, doubt in this If you do, please ask me. Okay, next me answer. How do you do it now? It starts at nine o'clock. It ends at ten fifty nine. Ten bajke fifty nine. Okay, so nine to ten is one hour. Then fifty nine minutes. One hour fifty nine minutes is the journey time. So they have mentioned here. Oops. Just a second. Okay, there's no question in them. Not given exactly a question for it, so yeah. So they've said, how long does a nine a.m. bus take from the bus station to the terminus? Okay, so it is one hour fifty nine minutes. See nine to nine five, then twenty one, then thirty one, nine fifty two, ten twenty nine, ten thirty six, ten forty five, ten fifty nine. Meaning these are the same. It is not jumping far ahead. Okay. It's just a few minutes' cut difference everywhere. Okay, so everywhere you see, it's a few minutes' cut difference. So the first difference of the last timing, the time it reaches to the time it starts, difference of it will give you the total duration of the uh, journey. And they specifically asked from the bus station to the terminus. Bus station, terminus is last. So. Nine to ten fifty nine a.m. to ten fifty nine a.m. It reaches the. I hope you guys understood this. Do you guys understand? Guys, if you do have any doubt, just please ask me. It's fine. Don't be shy. If you have any doubt, ask me. Okay, I'm going for the next question. How long does the 10:20 a.m. bus take from the bus station to the terminus? 10:20 bus starts from here. One hour forty-one minutes. One hour forty-one minutes. Okay. Yeah, one hour forty-one minutes. Okay, how? Huh? It starts at ten twenty, ends at twelve o one. Okay, ten twenty to eleven, it's forty minutes. Forty minutes till eleven. Okay, ten twenty to eleven, forty minutes. Then eleven to twelve, one hour plus one extra minute. So it is one hour forty one minutes. Okay. See on the ten twenty a.m. bus route, what is the duration of the longest journey between the stops?
is it 1109 to 1146 from godrej to to gota godrej city is said to gota godrej city is said to go something chakri yeah 1025 then 4125 then 4125 16 7 48 12 9 21 46 37 3 6 yes from 11 see the question is on the 1020 am bus route what is the duration of the longest journey between the stops okay so if you see this is 5 this is 6 7 11 minutes then 9 to 46 you see a huge gap which is i think 37 minutes ka gap so from godrej east city east side to something chopti gota gota Chopri is the longest journey, so the duration is thirty-seven minutes. Next is how long will it take to get from Vishnu Devi Circle to Sola Bhagat Chowk Park on the ten twenty AM bus? One hour, one minute. One hour, one minute. Vishnu Devi Circle is ten forty eight, which ten forty forty two. So la Bhagat. One hour, one minute. Correct. So it's Vishnu Devi Circle is at ten forty eight. It reaches. Then after it leaves, it reaches So la Bhagat Chowk Park at eleven forty nine. Ten forty eight to eleven forty eight. One hour. Then extra one minute. One hour, one minute. Okay. Next, how long will the same journey take? How long will the same journey take on the nine forty a.m. bus route? Meaning, I'm uh, okay. So, same journey from Vishnu Devi Circle to Sola Bhagat Chowk Park. How long will it take at the nine forty a.m. bus route? I mean, the middle one. One hour five minutes. One hour five minutes. Yeah, yeah. It starts from ten eleven, ends at eleven sixteen. Ten eleven to eleven eleven. One hour. The next of five minutes. One hour five minutes. Correct. One hour five minutes. If one misses the ten thirty two a.m. bus at Godrej City East side, how long will he or she will have to wait for the next bus? Ten thirty two a.m. bus at Godrej City East side. Ten thirty two a.m. at Godrej City East side. Ten thirty two. Ha, this one. They're saying if they miss it at this time, how long will they have to wait to get the next bus? Thirty seven minutes. Thirty seven minutes. Really? Thirty seven. You said okay. Yeah, so they if he's standing at this place, okay, go to the city side. He misses the bus, so assuming he reaches just after the bus leaves at ten thirty two. Next bus will come at eleven nine. So thirty two to eleven nine, uh, you will get a thirty seven minute gap. He has to wait for thirty seven minutes. Okay, so Okay, uh, so this one, I'll just zoom it. Arrange given sixteen words of the circle in third circle into a meaning sent meaningful sentence from below. Okay, uh, there are eight words on each circle. You have to use all those sixteen words to find uh, to make a sentence. 
meaningful sentence also this word here it is not bills it's feels okay i think it was a typo try it for some time okay i know it is a little difficult but this the one which they have given is a, it's a famous sentence but by him is it something like design is how it feels like and not how it looks like hmm yeah it is along those lines correct okay go for oh, always though the whatever words are there write down on a paper okay whenever you get a hint or something like like the one you got cross out the words and see which all are remaining then try to adjust Okay, so uh, only one sentence could be made, right? We cannot be. No, actually, there's uh, two sentences. Actually. Okay. Yeah, but there's like a fixed say, statement, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. The statement was given by Steve Jobs. Okay. Okay. if you guys give, even get up like a part of the sentence just tell it Okay, I'll tell the sentence. Okay. design is not just what it looks like and feels like design is how it works that's a sentence okay you guys can look it up later uh, no compare and see till very well now you guys may think ki you know you know these questions are very random and you may not get it but when you see the previous year question questions okay you will start to think on how the sentences can be formed okay you will go into that mindset that will make it as easier for you little easier for you during the exam and if you practice beforehand with a few more of examples like this you will get it into your head on how to think what way to think okay don't be disheartened if you don't get it the first time
Okay, fill in the blanks. Singular, plural. Okay, what is the singular form of uh, data? Data only. Data only. Yeah. Yes. Data itself. Okay. Criteria. 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 Yes. Plural is criteria. Phenomena. 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 Yes. Phenomena. Nuclei. This one is easy. Nucleus. Nucleus. Yes. Nucleus. Data. Two data. I think they uh, they had asked. They had given criteria and asked for criterion. It would have been more difficult. Okay, I have to show you guys. Ma'am, is this a previous year question paper? Uh, Karnavati University. Not mentioned exactly, but it is from Karnavati University. So. May have been a sample before, but it's from UID. So. Now, uh, can you guys name some of the most famous painters, artists? Raja Ravi Varma. Da Vinci. Raja Ravi Varma. Amrita Shergill. Amrita Shergill. Picasso. Picasso, yes. Picasso. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo. Leonardo da Vinci, correct. Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore. Abhindranath hmm. Tagore. Gemini Roy. He's an attacker. Okay, okay. Gemini Who else? Gemini, Gemini Roy. Roy. Okay, correct. Gemini Roy. Mm -hmm. uh, now, can you guys name some of the writers? Poets or uh, prose? Or any one of those. Rabindranath Tagore? Yes. Rabindranath Tagore? Yes. Everyone shall but okay, correct. Ruskin born. Ruskin born. Kabir hmm? Das. Sorry. Any international writers? You guys know? Shakespeare, and then there was this Bond. Shakespeare. Uh, Bond is an Indian writer. His name is, but uh, I think he is a, a yeah, foreign, he's, a, but he's an Indian writer. Any other writers? Um, Agastha Christie, Veronica. Agastha Christie. Agastha Christie and? Veronica Roth. Veronica Roth. Jeff Kenny. Sorry, who? Jeff Kenny. Jeff Kenny. Okay, I don't know who that is. Yeah, can you name? Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh, right, right. Okay, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Okay. Uh, who wrote Jungle Book? The Jungle Book? Rudyard Kipling. Yes, Rudyard Kipling. I'm Enid Blyton. Uh, Enid Blyton, okay. 
and then the harry potter writer um, who is it jk rowling jk rowling jk rowling yes correct um any other indian contemporary writers other than ruskin bond you guys name contemporary chetan okay chetan bhagat This person called Durjay Dutta. Durjay Dutt, yes, he is also a good writer. Mostly, no, not it. How about Suda Suda Murti? Yes, Suda Murti is also a good writer. Okay, do you guys know who is Arundhati Roy? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I've heard mm-hmm. the name. Okay, uh, R K Narayan. This we must have heard. Yeah, R K Narayan. Mm-hmm. He is the um. Like the common man. His work you're seeing? Yeah, yeah. The common he man, the comic strips. Okay, okay. The common man. Ah, uh-huh. he's a co- actually yes. Yeah. Malgudi. Yes, Malgudi days. Correct. Bikram Seth, Salman Rushdie. You guys know? Okay. I don't think you must have might have heard of him. No. Heard of these people? Arundhati Roy though, she is quite uh, famous. internationally also i think she is a recipient of booker prize you guys know what is a booker prize yes ma'am okay can you guys uh, tell me some of the literary awards international national whatever it is gnanpeeth gnanpeeth yes nationally uh, given award yes pulitzer pulitzer sahitya academy sahitya academy award correct Any other? The most important one you guys forgot. Nobel Prize. Literature. Ah, right, literary. Hmm. No, 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 can't do this. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, Lord of the Rings. You guys have must have heard, right? Lord of the Rings. Yeah, if not that, Game of Game of Thrones. J R R Tolkien and J R R Martin. Yeah, George R R Martin, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, J R R Tolkien. Sherlock Holmes. Or... Also, uh, the common man is R K Lakshman. He is the cartoonist. Like he sketches the yeah. R K Narayan is an author. Malgudi days and uh, uh, Swami and friends. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh. Any other writer? I mean. Uh, Jumpa Lahiri. Jumpa Lahiri. Yes. Uh, Arvind Adiga. Arvind Adiga. Yes. You can pick uh, the writers from your state also. Anyway, uh, now Priyanka to... Chopra is also an author. Sorry, Priyanka Chopra, the actress. She's an author. Yeah. Okay, what biography? Yeah, her biography. <laughs> no, 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 not that. I think by bio- writing the biography is the easiest form of art. Uh, Because, yeah, no imagination. Have you guys heard of uh, Leo Tolstoy? Yeah, Russian. Hmm? Russian, Russian. Russian. Hmm. Ma'am, also He's Anupam Kher. He has written books. Yeah. yeah. Really, what uh, like what kind of books? Do you know? Yeah, uh, I've written it down in my notebook. Wait and let me bring it. Okay. Have you guys uh, heard of Pride and Prejudice? 
yes um it was in our syllabus <laughs> oh okay jane austen jane austen yes and what other book has she written like it's equally famous mansfield park tense and sensibilities yeah um meet someone else tree Oh, yeah. Yeah. Miss Summer Nights. That's yeah. Shakespeare, right? Miss Summer Nights Day Miss Shakespeare. Okay, also. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. Shakespeare's uh, at least some of the dramas and book uh, written if you guys remember it. Macbeth. Macbeth. Um Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet. Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet. Yes. Romeo and Juliet. othello the tempest okay uh, so these are merchant of venice merchant of venice yeah movie also yes can you guess me who is the artist of this first one um i don't know the very famous painting this is persistent dali persistent dali yes it's by salvador dali Yes, Salvador Dali. Yes, the name of the painting is Persistence of Memory. The persistence of time. The persistence of memory. Oh, memory. Yeah. Okay. This is an example of surrealism. This is Salvador Dali. Yeah. Okay. We are finished. It's that's his self-portrait also. Okay. Surrealism. I won't tell you the history of it because if you are able to recognize it, very good. they may ask you question of that okay see it's an irrational juxtaposition of images what does surreal mean just the word in general unreal something unreal not real it is neither unreal it is somewhere in the middle it has a dream like quality to it hmm. something that's not entirely real if in one word if i can say bizarre weird okay not something you see day in your regular life basically okay so if you see any painting which has these qualities you can say they belong to the surrealism uh, movement okay next is cubism okay cubism is a style of art which aims to show all the possible viewpoints of a person or an object all at once are you guys understanding or it aims to show all the possible viewpoints of a person or an object all at once okay it is called cubism because uh, it looks like they are made out of cubes and other geometrical shapes cubism was first started by pablo picasso and george braque okay Picasso is very famous for his cubism painting. He has periods. Uh, Picasso, okay. He painted at one point of time. Uh, it's it was called I think uh, the rose period. Yeah. Also the blue period. Blue period. Yes. Uh, and in one period he painted only African style paintings. Okay. So his periods also, if you study it, it will be better. Meaning study is as in just see, which are other. this one is this painting it looks from from other way if you see it looks like cubes and you no know, geometrical shapes for it's called marjoli i think it's french okay do you guys know this per, uh, person edward munch yeah he's famous for the scream yes the scream yes his most i think most famous painting is the scream he this is another painting of his the sick child okay see expressionism is a modernist movement initially in poetry and painting okay it it's typical trait meaning how you re will recognize it is is to represent the world solely from a subjective perspective distorting it radically for emotional effect in order to evoke moods or i see if you see the painting it's not very sharp the features of it are not very sharp is uh, the child male or female its face is not very clear this woman's 
uh, position is how do I say failed person. Okay, it is distorted to show a sick mood. It if you look at it without the title also, you can see that it there is a helplessness in the painting. Okay, that evokes moods. That is a particular style of painting, expressionism. Okay. Now, uh, the reason I'm showing you these are because these type of questions, uh, they had asked, they shown a painting and asked which of these art movements does the painting belong to. So there was Fauvism also. Okay. See, characteristics of Fauvism include a radical use of unnatural colors that separates colors from its usual representational realistic role, giving new emotional meaning to the colors. Okay. Meaning, uh, did, did, you, did you guys understand what this means? If you can tell me. Meaning, suppose the they are drawing an apple, okay, in Fauvism. Uh, apples are usually either red or green. Is it like folks or like fake, or like the opposite color? Not exactly, usually opposite, but an unnatural color, which it yeah, is right. in real life, yes. Hmm. So that it if I, it shows a certain, uh, you, it shows a new emotional meaning to the colors, not the existing ones. Okay. A strong unified work that appears flat on the canvas. If you see this one, it's very vibrant and not a usual color used for face, natural face, I'm saying. This is a woman with a hat by Henry Matisse. Ah, cloud, cloud moon. Impressionism. His painting style was recognized by this. See, it is characterized by small, thin, yet visible brush strokes. It is a, see, uh, some paintings, if you have painted ever in anything, in any medium, you know that most of the times your brush strokes are visible. You can hide it if you paint evenly and not one over the other stroke. Okay, but he he should, draws visible strokes. They are visible. Okay, and emphasis on accurate de depiction of light in its changing qualities. Okay, he especially Claude Monet. He showed a lot of he gave a lot of importance to light depiction means how the shadow comes, okay? This one is, I think this one is water lilies and this one is impression sunrise. Very famous painting. Okay. Symbolism. Symbolism is when an object or thing stands in the place of something else, such as an idea, another object, a person or a place. For example, if, uh, a child is drawn in the painting, okay? Other aspects also are there in the painting, but that child is a symbol of innocence. Okay, that is symbolism. Mostly all paintings have it other than the, this one, portraits, okay? This one is the Yellow Christ. Again, very famous, Paul Gogan is a very famous artist. Okay, nobody uh, said M.F. Hussain ka name when I asked for the artist. Do you guys want to remember it? Oh, yes, ma'am. We know it. Like, he's Cubism. there for cubism. Yeah. M.F. Hussain? Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Horse okay. paintings are famous. Hmm. His uh, paintings show a lot of Indianism in his work. I think I have some of his paintings here too. Yeah. All these are his paintings. The map of India. What are you here though? 
It was a lot of Indianism. You can see some of the features through some of the features. This one is Ektara instrument. Not the others. Hmm. Uh, Vincent Van uh, Vincent Van Gogh. Do you guys know him? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma yeah, he's. he's Hmm? Are you going to tell you what? Is he an impressionism artist or post-impressionism somewhere in there? He, I think he dabbled in everything. Not just okay. one part, I think. Post uh, he mostly did post-impressionism. Yeah. Anyway, did you guys know his story though? Uh, Vincent van Gogh uh, was... He struggled a lot during his life because his painting sold. Okay, he became famous after his death. He tried to commit suicide for uh, like twice or thrice. At last, he succeeded. Okay, you might have heard of a painter who cut off his ear. Must have come somewhere. Yeah, I've seen that stop motion movie of Vincent Van Gogh. He has a movie. Oh, I don't know this. I read a I read a like short book about his life. That time. Wow. Anyway, this was Vincent Van Gogh. He was disturbed for some for a long period of his time. The, in the his... movie was fully stop motion and uh, its frame were uh, like those starry nights. Uh, the same mm -hmm. format was used for each frame. Oh, really? Who was in the movie? Is Was it uh, Benedict Cumberbatch? I don't know. I just watched the movie. <laughs> like saw the movie, sorry. Okay. Because there is a movie of uh, Vincent Van Gogh of uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. I wanted to watch it, but something I can't remember. Yeah. His most famous painting is the Starry Night. I think everybody knows the painting. He, he is known for his brush strokes, unique brush strokes. Okay. Picasso, the Weeping Woman. Uh, Picasso, just uh, just see some of his work uh, art. Periods, okay. It's very important. They may ask you if this one is an art period of Picasso or not. Like that. There was one thing which I wanted to tell. I can do in your two thousand in one of the papers. There is a pointillism. Sorry, night. Who painted the Sistine, uh, ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo. 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 Okay, I think. I don't hmm. Pointillism. This one I wanted to tell you guys. What does pointillism mean? Do you guys know? Pointillism essentially means, if you zoom it, you'll see that it is. A collection of points, fine points, into a painting. Okay. Pointillism, uh, painting, practice of applying small strokes or dots of colors to a surface so that from a distance they visually blend together. Okay. They had asked in one of the papers, I think. This is a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jetty. By some. Okay. I think everybody knows abstract paintings. Any painting which is most of the paintings. Okay. They are, it indicates a departure from reality in depiction of imagery in art. Okay. It is not real. It may be anything. It may be a thought process. Uh, for, for example, if you see peace as an object, you can, not object, as a collection of lines, okay? You may draw it like that. It will become an abstract painting. Yeah. Psychedelic art. Psychedelic art is usually, it's visual graphic displays, okay, related to or inspired by psychedelic experiences and hallucinations. What does psychedelic mean? It 
basically it's actually a substance psychedelic just psychedelic okay they are also called hall- hallucinogens you guys know you might have known this one hallucinogens it causes hallucinations in a person okay changes a person's thinking like they see something else contemporary art okay contemporary art uh, themes see identity politics the body globalization and migration technology contemporary society and culture time and memory anything which is which represents the present time okay it's a lot it's a very vague uh, this one okay do you guys at least like get some of the points if you if they ask you'll be able to recognize it yes ma'am no. uh st- st- more of logos we'll do those logos okay but writers artists awards those okay any other uh, questions you have or any other part which we want you want to cover i'm only these are the important authors and uh, painting not these only there are many others Okay, we'll do it slowly, not just now. If you have any like important writer which I'm not mentioned, you can tell me. Okay, we'll discuss that. Okay. Any other GK part which you guys want? Okay, also uh, art. Sorry, uh, dance styles, traditional, state wise dance styles, arts, uh, art. Mm, for example this one yeah. warli painting warli art maharashtra maharashtra yeah those type okay we'll do those also okay okay any other doubt or question all right then we'll meet next in the next class okay so long on paper okay ma'am thank you ma'am so we are finished with the class bye guys So we finished the class if you can hear